You can customize ChatGPT with your own information. You can also do the same on Perplexity AI. But can you also do it on Gemini? Well, the answer is yes, absolutely. You can personalize Gemini with your own custom information. And in fact, there are two ways you can do that. So here's how you can add an extra information to AI so it can understand your characteristic better and will give you a much more personalized and arguably better answer. So to do that, you can navigate to gemini.google.com or you can also open the Gemini app on your phone. And don't worry, I'm going to cover the tutorials for both desktop and mobile app version. And here, basically, you want to click on this settings and help menu and then go to save info. While on the mobile app version, you might want to click on the profile picture right here and then go to the app info sorry save info setting right here and it basically will open a page that look very similar to the desktop version so i guess the feature is not yet available natively on the mobile app but at least you can still access this feature so this is where you can store some info that might be useful to gemini so it can deliver a better answer and you can click this button to show some examples like you can ask ai to use simple language you can also specify your own preferences or maybe the way AI should respond, etc. So this is just some info that you could provide that later will be paired your, with your prompt in uh, the Gemini AI. So let me add one example. Here, I prefer, let's say, I want to get a simple answer that is easy to understand. I'm going to type it. Uh, always responds in a concise and simple answer. And also provide one example there you go that's my prompt click submit okay just wait there you go you can add as many as you like it's up to you but in this case i'll just do one quick demonstration now here i have a chat that i just created before i'm adding that uh, customization i just asked gemini what is verbosity compensation in ai so this is the answer it's kind of convoluted it's very long and maybe it's difficult to consume so i'm going to do it again and now given that i just added a personalization to my account gemini will start consider that as instruction so the answer will be a lot more concise and it will start giving me one example and there you go it's just one two paragraphs as simple as that it is not as complicated as this one so that's the benefit of using the personalization feature in the gemini ai now as I mentioned before, there is also another option where you can personalize Gemini, which is basically allowing AI to read your activity on your Google account. So given that if you're using tools like Google Chrome or maybe Android phone, Google probably knows a lot more about you than yourself, believe it or not. Now to access that, you can click here, uh, select the model basically. And also this feature is available on the mobile version. So you can, sorry about that. You can tap on this menu and then select this one based on your search history. And basically, uh, it will ask you to give, connect, uh, give connection. Just click agree, click connect now. And don't worry, you can always disconnect the search history at any time if you want to. Now, if I ask something like, uh, what are pictures that I search recently? Since it knows what I was searching, I'm using Google Chrome, it should know what pictures that I was using. Okay, so there are some uh, image generations like Studio Ghibli prompt. Yeah, I do search that a lot, uh, but it's actually not the things that I read today. So, I mean today. Let me specify that it has to be today. Agent logo, place their logo. So it is not quite accurate. It's actually uh, not exactly the things that I searched today. I do search these things, but it wasn't today. So it's not exactly up to date. And again, this feature is still in preview. It's still experimentation and maybe it's not going to be perfect. But either way, I at least we have two options to customize Gemini to give you a more personalized and better answer. And again, if you want to disable it, you can click this button or you can also just delete the item that you just provided to Gemini via this feature. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.